Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, man. I'm back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV. Had to come tap in on BH, Hoggy, All Money In, BH. Uh, real close friend, probably one of Nipsey Hussle's best friends. You know, he had several people that he was close to, but Hoggy was somebody that was close to Nipsey every day. Day one, homie, all that real brother. They real brothers, damn near. The only thing, you might as well say they blood brothers, even though they not blood brothers. They was together regularly. So he went on Adam No Jumper recently and did an interview. Uh, no, no Jumper has interviewed other people that were close to Nipsey that's really had that same type of bond with them. But they didn't really speak up in certain manners or really get into detail on addressing like WAC 100 and game and blue face and other things that were going on in the industry since nipsey has passed on that a lot of people seen as disrespectful so hoggy went on there and he kept it all the way real this is what he said these are his words not mine he said <clears throat> whack 100 is a weirdo he said whack 100 is not from la he's from the valley why is whack 100 speaking on crip business and he's a blood then he also said, why did WAC 100 wait until Nipsey passed away to say all these things about him? If you ever heard what WAC 100 said, he's actually said things like Eric Holder did what he was supposed to do in that situation. He was a real gangster. You've even heard WAC 100 say Nipsey wasn't really like that. He wasn't really no gangster. He was a rapper. Uh, you know, people didn't love Nipsey until after he died and things like that. So, in my opinion, I don't agree with what WAC 100 said. And WAC 100 is a person that gives respects to other people's opinions. I've seen him say that on IG before. He has his opinion. I personally don't agree with what WAC 100 said about Nipsey Hussle. I feel like he had plenty of love. A lot of people fucked with him. There are people who got onto him later. But Dog was selling out shows out here in Houston regularly. You know what I'm saying? He was coming to my neighborhood out here, doing in the hood, in the trenches. It's people from Houston that won't even come to Greens Point area. They won't come to this neighborhood. Nipsey was out here getting love, pop-ups, showing love to the fans and the supporters for years and years before he even got on, really running that marathon. So he had love in the streets because he didn't just do that in Houston. He did that in every city. People liked what he stood for. Now, Hoggy also spoke on uh game situation he said game he fucked with game he said nipsey that's game you know nipsey loved game he, he showed love game love for putting him on the tour and everything like that and that's what it was he said he felt that so he said it was never no pressure with game or nothing but he said since nip has passed he's like game why haven't you addressed whack 100 going in you know making these statements and rants and going at nipsey in a different way if that's your man if people don't know, WAC 100 has been game's manager. That's the way he came into the game. And um, what a way that I got exposure to him. You understand what I'm saying? So he's like, hey, bro, if you love Nipsey that much, why you can't tell your homie, ease up off Nip online, let Nip legacy live. And so, hey, that's what he said about game. He also said, dog, you post a homie every day, bro. It looks like you're doing it for attention. Why? He said, you don't post your dead homies. Why are you not posting your dead homies every day? That's what, this is Hoggy's opinion, not mine. He also said prolific. Hey, bro, we all know the moniker and the name and the stand to prolific was Nipsey. You know what I'm saying? Why would y'all go out here and make clothing lines and do all this branding behind prolific and knowing that's Nipsey shit? That's what, that's what Hoggy said. That don't make sense to him. It's like interior motives. He said, this is the same thing like me going out and saying, hey, nigga, we finna make some shit with documentary on it. He like, come on, dog. Because they were actually like proving, oh, was somebody else on the name prolific and this and this. But man, we know the code of the streets. Now, I will agree with Hoggy on that. I didn't, you know, it is what it is. There's no disrespect to game. That's his choice and his decision to make. But in my opinion... I'm like Nipsey, prolific is Nipsey's, man. Don't don't try to turn it into a business, but that's my own personal opinion, and there's no offense to nobody. Also, taking it to, you know, Hoggy also said, hey, man, if y'all want to show love to Nip, man, why don't y'all pull up on his family, man? Throw his family some. Posting on Instagram ain't really doing nothing, man. Show show the mama some love. Do that. Spend, put something like that. Show real love. So 
I can understand where Hoggy's coming from. This is a close friend of his, and that's why, you know, Hoggy, somebody at the camp had to be vocal and address the negativity direct and or the things that were perceived in the public as negative. You know, everybody else been kind of keep, keeping calm on it. He also said we don't have an issue with Blueface. I don't have an issue with Blueface because of the two Crip sets. Don't get along like that. He just felt like, hey, if Blueface would have got killed, Nip would have posted him. And he's just like, damn, bro, you could have showed the love. But he said it's not nothing against Blueface, though. He said Blueface good in his book. It ain't no issues like that. It's just whack. He not really feeling how whack going. You know what I'm saying? Also, it's address Kodak. Hey, Kodak, you tripped out, bro. He just saying, hey, nigga, you, you said some weirdo shit that you didn't even have to say, bro. Why do y'all niggas get online and be so disrespectful? I do agree with the disrespect side of it. Now, game, I can't really question game's motives because I'm not there. Now, I will say this, WAC 100 is the one of the most intelligent people in the industry. I want to be a thousand percent honest. I will tell him that if we met face to face, this dude got a lot of sense. He is not a dummy. He is not an idiot at all. WAC 100, the things that he says when you hear him talk about business and the way he moves, he's smart. Even when he's going at Nipsey, he does the mechanism that we call in the South, pissing on something, pissing on the situation and saying it's raining. You say something to get people at their feelings and get them all misconstrued and get them upset and emotional because you make a statement that you know a lot of people not going to agree with, but then you circle back and hit them with the facts of that situation by using definitions of words and details and things. It's the same thing Blueface did with Young Ro. In the South, H-Town, we call it pissing on the nigga. Why? And then saying it's raining. That's just what it is, man. But I fuck with everybody. I want to see everybody put this shit to the side. This L.A., man, y'all had one of the greatest dudes ever. Nipsey's a legend, man. Come on, bro. The dude got mur murals everywhere. You don't get buried in this. You don't have a funeral in Staples Center unless you're a legend. But I feel like WAC 100, on the other hand, it's like, oh, well, you're not a music legend. You know what I'm saying? But the music sold. No matter whether he died, you know. Whether he, he's a legend now, whether it happened before while he was living or when he died. You know, that's just my personal opinion. I want to see everybody get their bag. Hoggy say he finna rap now. I will support that music. I've been supporting him since day one. You know, when he do put out a little drip out, little singles here and there and drop little videos. Uh, dumb shit is still one of my favorite Hoggy tracks. I, I hit him on Snapchat back in the gap and told him I was fucking with that. And he responded. That was like 2013 or 14, I think. Um, so man, salute the team, Blueface, man, y'all get out the turmoil, get y'all bag up, man, let's focus on that check, this shit right here ain't gonna go nowhere, and that's why I spoke on this, and I waited, I wanted all the shit to digest and be a little bit more clear in my stance on everything, so subscribe to the channel, shout out No Jumper for getting that interview also, a nigga, will, I love to see, I been wanting to see Hoggy and see how he thought about shit and just hear his grind and his full story. Tap into the channel, Urban Politicians TV. More coming, man. 1,000. Also, follow me on Instagram at Urban Politicians underscore Big Ant. Hit the comment section. Tell me what y'all think, man. Who in the wrong? Nipsey, everything. Give me y'all comments. Show love to Nip, all that, man. 1,000.